I have decided to include DaVinci Resolve into this review because um, in the version 12 Blackmagic uh, added multi-camera support. So I thought why not give it a try? One of the most cumbersome parts of DaVinci Resolve is its data management. So you have to deal with databases, how to connect them if you move from one computer to another. That's all might be quite frustrating. So that workflow is useful for teamwork, for film production, etc. But for one man band, that is nothing but headache. So we add footage to our project. DaVinci Resolve has poor support of MTS, so it just detected few of my files. Here, for instance, it sees left1.mts, but I know for sure that there is left2 second take from the same camera in this folder. It just doesn't see it. So MTS is not officially supported. I also had troubles with MOV rewrap, so just for the sake of this demonstration, I'll go to my Final Cut proxies. These are ProRes files. DaVinci supports ProRes, and there are no problems with these. So I drop them in. I also drop in my music file. Then I go to edit page. DaVinci Resolve does have built-in audio sync capabilities, but in my tests, I didn't find them very reliable. So if I take this and that file and choose create multicam clip, set angle sync to sound, and check that thing. I don't need them into your separate folder and click create. Now it's analyzing. It's pretty fast. And then I have a multicam clip. First, I have to create a new timeline. There's my timeline and I drop this multicam clip on the timeline. So now if I right click here and choose open in timeline, I can see that the sync works for these two files. I'll just kill that. But if I select, say, this angle and overhead angle, try to do the same. Oops, it doesn't work. I thought that it might depend on the frame rate because I have some of the files 50p, some of them are 25p, but it is just random. It can sync some files and it fails with the others, and there is no way that it can sync all of them. So there is audio sync in DaVinci, but it doesn't work very good. I have to sync them now manually. I'll just deselect uh, these these two files for now and create a multi-camera clip without audio syncing. And that's it. I'll open that. This thing here controls the height of video and audio clips, and you should take that box to show waveforms. Mine have already been calculated, but if you drop a new file on the timeline, if I drag it here... So at the moment, it's calculating the waveforms in the background, and it doesn't tell you anything, and there's no way to know when it ends. You just have to wait until it finishes. So that lack of visual feedback is kind of annoying. Now I start dragging my files around. Well, and that's a huge problem with DaVinci Resolve, because when the timeline gets crowded, when there are too many tracks, so if I start zooming in and out, that's command plus and minus, so I click zoom in a few times, and it lags, and it lags. So I zoom out a few times, I have to wait, 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 wait. It's like that. So now I have my waveforms more or less in sync. Let's see that on the timeline. To enable the multi-camera view, we go here. And that's the problem. It's not drawing the waveforms in the background at the moment. It will never show them. I have checked the official Blackmagic's forum and that was confirmed by their representative that multi-camera clips and compound clips do not have waveforms in them. Welcome to DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> How in the world am I supposed to navigate here? I have three different takes here. How can I set them apart? It's ridiculous. And now if I want to drag in uh, my music file, so I have the same problem. Where to put that? No idea. So I'll try to put that into a multicam clip. But now I have another problem. If I try to switch off audio tracks, 
the video chucks got switched off as well and I haven't found any way to do that separately. So the only way is to select all of these clips, right click, unlink them, then select just the audio clips and click D to disable them. But now if I go to my timeline, I still won't find anything. <laughs> so there's no audio. The manual is quite vague about it, it doesn't say anything about it. So I found this by trials and errors. Actually, it plays audio just from the first track here. So I have to put my music clip up here. That one is already unlinked. If I drag it down and hold shift for it not to move around. And if I bring this one up. Let's take a look at the timeline. So that's where my music is, <laughs> if I ever find it. And now I can play it. So I can play six tracks at the same time with uh, ProRes Proxy. By the way, DaVinci Resolve does have its own proxy. If you want to create one, you just right click here and choose Generate Optimized Media. As far as I remember on Windows that creates a DNxHD file and on a Mac that's a ProRes file, but I've tried that and DNxHD files do not have any performance boost over ProRes. These are huge files and these proxies are rather for 4K raw workflow, but not for multicam. Seven tracks is too much a little bit, so that's not real time, unfortunately. So you must convert to proxy in uh, DaVinci Resolve. There is no way you can edit multicam without it. Uh, let me show you another project where I tried to use my MP4 custom proxies. So it seems like DaVinci has poor support for H.264 format. Okay, I just make sure that all of these are in sync, plus minus one frame. That's the beginning of the song. And now I go to the end of the song, that's a few minutes away from it. And look at that, <laughs> they're out of sync. That's one, two, three, four, five frames, four frames. And that's the problem if you have several H.264 files on different tracks, uh, they get out of sync as the timeline progresses. And here I have another project. These are my original files from camera rewrapped into MLV, which I did for Final Cut and that played well there. And here's how DaVinci handles them. You get the idea. So, unfortunately, there is no way to work with H.264 format family in DaVinci without transcoding. It's not all that bad in DaVinci, for instance, one powerful feature about it is that it supports paging in multi-camera view. So if that's too much for me and I'm having performance issue, it's like in Final Cut, I can set my preview to 2x2 two two angles and I can play that. and switch between different pages. And that works quite in real time, that's good. And as for cutting and editing your multi-camera, it's pretty much the same like anywhere else. You just hit play and start selecting angles. No, it's not that easy because I, first I have to switch to a different mode so that thing um, cuts my video and audio tracks. That's useful if I need to switch between my audio tracks as well. I don't need that for this project, so I just click video only. So now it works like it should. And then you can move your cuts around and go to the color page and color grade it and do some crazy stuff with it. Don't 
Well, actually, Black Magic lost me at the point where I have no waveform preview. That and the lack of support of MP4 and the laggy interface, that all basically renders it useless for any serious multi-camera work. So my conclusion is that it's a raw and unfinished product. Don't waste your time with that. That multi-camera support in DaVinci only exists on paper in Blackmagic's marketing releases, but in real life it's just one big annoyance. Of course it's free and that's a huge point, and after all DaVinci is THE industry standard color grading software. But as of now it's a poor multi-camera editing solution and there are definitely better tools for that out there. <laughs>